For the first time in ages I wake up and don't hate it I guess I found some peace Hello everyone, this is Yanka and I'm super excited for today's video. Today we're going to make DIY gifts inspired by mermaids. If you like this video, let me know in the comment down below and let's dive into it. The first thing I want to share with you is this super cute mermaid tail vase. I got this bottle from my husband and I spray painted in white. Next, I've got this mermaid tail silicone mold and I'm putting the hot glue of my glue gun. I did three layers of paint and let all dry. I've got these cute metallic brush pens and I'm taking the blue one to outline the labels that I didn't remove. And guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. I post videos every week. Now that my glue tail is hard, I'm taking it out of the mold and I'm using nail scissors to trim the excess glue. I'm finally ready to paint my tail with the metallic pens. I'm doing turquoise and purple. While I let my tail dry, I'm going with my Mod Podge on the bottle. I'm gonna leave the, the labels white. And now it's time to apply my mermaid glitter, which is a mix of blue and purple. When everything is dry, I attach my tail to the bottle. And look how cute is this vase! I love it so much, guys! I had this plastic container at home and I thought it would be perfect for a hand sugar scrub. We start putting the Mod Podge on the lid and cover it with the mermaid glitter. Remember, this is a very simple scrub, a two ingredient sugar scrub sugar and coconut oil if you would like a more elaborate recipe let me know in the comment down below put your coconut oil and then your sugar and mix the measurement will depend on how you want the scrub i am adding a couple of drops of purple soap color to give the mermaid vibes i'm also adding two tones blue colored sugars that I made in the past and I thought that would be perfect for this project. At the end, I'm also going to add bio glitter. Remember, if you want the sparkling sugar scrub, you only can add biodegradable glitter. I want my scrub not just to look like a mermaid, but to smell like a mermaid and I got the perfect scent. Sea salt and driftwood. It's a fresh and sweet fragrance. Remember, your fragrance oil has to be body safe and always check the percentage that you can add. I got this food jar and I really like the shape of the label. So instead of taking it off, I started painting with Mod Podge and I'm gonna add the mermaid glitter. For this project, I didn't mix the glitter together, but I did the first layer of purple glitter and on top, after it was already dry, I did a layer of blue glitter. To have a matching lid, I mixed the blue and the purple glitter 
and cover the lid. I got these stickers on Amazon for very cheap, but you can make it your own if you have a cutting machine. Put your stickers into the jar and you will have a super duper cute positive affirmation jar that I'm sure your friends will love. Guys, of course, I couldn't not include a mermaid inspired candle. I'm starting with the lid, painting it white. This is my jar and I decided to put some masking tape to do a creative glitter design. Now I'm ready to apply my Mod Podge at the bottom of the, of the vessel. When it's all covered in glue, I'm ready to sprinkle my glitters. Let it completely dry and if you want you can do more layers but always do a final layer to seal all the glitter in. And then when it's all ready you are able to remove the masking tape. Guys, something I didn't think it would happen actually happened. <laughs> Removing my masking tape, I actually removed part of the finish of the jar. So now I had to find a way to fix it. And I actually thought the best way would be, what do you guys think? With more glitter, of course. <laughs> but I want to do this time some white glitter. So I'm repeating the same process as before. Now, remember the stickers in the last project? I got this shell one and I put it on my lid when it was completely dry because I thought it would look super duper cute. And to match everything, I added my Mod Podge, as you can see on the side, and more mermaid glitter. Now, for the actual candle, I'm gluing the wick at the bottom of the jar. I'm not going through how to make a candle in this video, but if you're interested, you can watch this guide next. I'm using the same scent I've used for the scrub and added 8% of fragrance oil to my melted wax and I'm pouring it into my vessel. And voila, here you have it a super duper cute and wonderful smelling mermaid inspired candle. Guys, I saved the best for last. I've got this plastic little container and I'm just using the lid. I also got this clear plastic bag and I'm tracing the lid on the bag so I can cut it out. If, as me, you get the Sharpie color on your lid, don't worry, it comes off very easily with a wet, wet wipe. Cut the circle off. And I'm actually using the one without the black mark. Cut it to fit the lid. Now we're gonna apply the Mod Podge in the internal part of the lid. And when it's all done, sprinkle the glitter on top. I've got these cute shells that I thought would be perfect for this project. And when the glue is dry, I added them into the lid. I also got this blue salt that I made in the past and added to the shaker so it would be more loud. Time to close everything with our glue gun and plastic circle. Be careful touching it because it's, the glue is very, very hot. Put more glue on the sides 
to seal everything in. Glue the actual keychain to the back of the lid and let it set. Once it's set, apply the hot glue all over the lid to level it up. Once the glue is completely dry, apply the Mod Podge and cover with your glitter. Make sure you do a final layer of Mod Podge to seal the glitter in. And there you have it! A super duper cute inspired shaker keyring! So guys, that brings us to the end of this mermaid inspired DIY gift. I hope you loved all this DIY just as much as I did. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you in my next video. Ciao!